what were the what were the next steps there? Like, hey, I got to get a spot. I want to do restorations. I want to buy and sell and do restorations. Yeah, okay. and that. Uh, so we got married. Uh, your mom had a, a you know a regular job. Mm-hmm. So and I still worked full time night crew now at Miracle Mart, and then I would come home. Or go straight to the shop, and we rented a two thousand square foot shop at Dixie and Four Hundred One by the airport. Mm-hmm. So I would come home, work on the cars, buy and sell the cars, and um, sleep for about six seven hours. Go back into night crew. And I did that for about six months, and that first year, I ended up buying sixty cars. Really? Yeah, and I still have the. Uh, you have to keep a. You know. Ledgers, a ledger okay. for for Ombic. It wasn't Ombic at the time, but whatever it was. And I bought, I think, sixty some odd cars that first year, and hired Chris, my first guy, who I met when I went into the body shop to see if he would put on quarter panels. And then I bought the that MIG welder. Yeah. So, like, you must have made over a hundred grand. Um, the first year we made good money, but it's interesting you say that because. Um, I forget what I made the first year. It wasn't that much because I had all the expenses of getting setting set everything up. up. Sure, yeah, yeah. And I still worked full time at Miracle Mart, and yep. you know, Mum had her regular job, so we were good. Yep. And uh, and that's when I, after six months, I was getting burned out, and I said, okay, I can make this work. Right. And I still remember a guy that owned a training shop, and I forget his name now, but he used to do all our transmissions back then. And, and I remember him saying, if you can't make a hundred grand a year in your own business, you shouldn't be in your own business. Mm. So that was kind of the benchmark. That was the benchmark. Right. Okay. And that's 1985. And to put that in perspective, we bought our first house in 85 for 84 grand. Right. So if you couldn't make enough money to buy a house. Yeah. A house a year. A house a year, you shouldn't be in business. Right. Things are a little bit different now with housing prices. Yeah. Interesting. So did you... Were you, was it a big leap? Was it a big risk to take? Or did you, because you were working that other job, it was like, okay, I'll, you know, I've got a soft landing pad. Sure. We had a soft landing. Okay. And, you know, Vicky's job was, right. you know, right. So it wasn't like this just roll of the dice. I no. got to make it fly. No. But I'm, you know, clearly doing 60 cars. You were hustling. Yeah. Right. 